been a while, huh? Nevertheless, today we want to focus on how God has instruct knowledge. But the reality is that many people don't really want knowledge. And that knowledge comes directly from the world. Like for instance, when God said in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14, he said, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from the wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will hear and heal the land. So God said, if his people, which are called by his name, shall humble themselves and seek his face, he said he will hear. Daniel chapter 9 verse 24. He said in 24, Seventy weeks are determined upon my people and upon the holy city to finish transgression and to make end of sin and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal of the vision and the prophecy and to anoint the most holy. So Jesus said again, 70 weeks are determined upon my people to make an end of what? Sin. And to make what? Reconciliation. And to anoint where? The, host, the most holy. Who was the most holy? Jesus certainly is the most holy. So God is telling us, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, then will I hear from thee. Look in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter four and verse six concerning his people he said my people have been destroyed because of lacking of knowledge because thou has reject knowledge i have also reject thee that thou should be priest to me seeing thou has forsake the law of the lord thy god I have forsake thy children. So notice what he said. Listen what God said again in the previous verse in Uzziah. He said, My people have been destroyed because of lacking of knowledge. Because thou hast reject knowledge, I have reject thee. That thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forsake the law of thy God, I will also forsake thy children. So God said, look, because they were rejecting knowledge, what was the instant in the book, in the Bible, in First Samuel? What was the instant in, in, in Samuel? With, 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 with concern where it said, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I have rejected thee. What was the instant in First Samuel? With, with, with Saul. First Samuel chapter 16. He said, listen, listen again. I want for you to listen. He said, My people have been destroyed because of lacking of knowledge. Because thou hast reject knowledge, I have reject thee that thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forsake the law of thy God, I will also forsake thy children. Look at the instant in the book of Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 20, 23. He said, For rebellion is as sin as witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast reject the word of the Lord, I have also reject thee from being king. So what's the instant between Uzziah chapter 4 and verse 6 and the incident between Samuel, 1 Samuel 15 and verse 23. What was knowledge? He said, because thou hast reject knowledge, I have reject thee and that you be no priest unto me. What the Bible classified that he reject, which is knowledge in Samuel, the word. He said, because 
He said, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he had rejected thee from being king. So God said, I reject thee. And notice one of the instant in the book of Isaiah, which he classified in the last part of the verse, verse 6, he said, He said when he stated very clearly, seeing thou hast forsaken the law of God, I will also forsake thy children. And when you look in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 29, 29, let me show you something. In Deuteronomy 29, 29, listen what he said. The secret things belong unto the Lord or God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the word of the law. So God wants for us to do what? Live his law. Manifest his law. He said, because thou as reject knowledge, I have reject thee from the what? Reigning as king over where? Israel. And because thou as reject Thy word, he said, I have rejected thee to Saul as reigning as king over Israel. And he said, because thou in, in the book of Uzziah, he said, because thou has reject knowledge, which is the word, I have rejected thee as priests. And because thou has forsake the law of God, I will forsake thy children. Beloved, what God wants for us to do is to really focus upon him by living through his word. And if we continue to reject him through his word, we reject knowledge. Isn't, isn't it the same instant where God gave his prophecy and many neglect it? What's the difference? If we have the Bible daily, spend no time in the Bible, spend no time with God. Spend no time to do the things of God. Will God accept us? So obviously God will, 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 will also deny us. Before his father. Because we are rejecting knowledge. And we have time where we can gain knowledge. And God won't for us to come up to his instant. His statue. And live up to his principle. Will you continue to reject knowledge? Hmm? Look what he said in the book of Daniel. Go back to the book of Daniel. Concerning knowledge, knowledge, beloved, to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 12. Listen what he goes on to say from verse 3. He said, And they that be wise shall shine of the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as a star forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the word and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, for many shall be run to and for and knowledge shall be increased, beloved. He said, but thou, o Daniel, in verse 4, Daniel 12, verse 4, he said, but thou, o Daniel, shut up the book and seal the word, even to the time of the end, for many shall be run to and for and knowledge shall be increased. Look in the instant, look in the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2, concerning knowledge. He said, I will, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, he said, I will stand up on my watch and set me up on my tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse 2, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he, that he may run that read at it. What God said, Write the vision, make it plain. What vision? The knowledge that Daniel was saying. Look, what, which God said to Daniel. But thou, was Daniel, shut up the book and seal the word in for the time of the end, beloved. It was not forever. He, because he said, but thou, was Daniel, shut up the book and seal the word even for the time of the end. So he said in the book of Habakkuk, he said, write the vision. Look what he said. Write the vision, let it plain on tables. That they who read may run that read at it. Verse 3 said, 
for the vision is yet for a point for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry do we see that the same instant where we said but thou o daniel write the vision let it plain on tables that they who read may run so look at it very careful look back upon it very careful look at the old comparable back in the book of daniel beloved because god really wants for us to understand he said in verse 4 in daniel 12 verse 4 he said but thou but thou o daniel shut up the book shut up the word and seal the book even to the time of the end and many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. He said, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And when you go back in the book of Obakop, chapter 2, he, he stayed very clear. He said, look from verse 2. He said, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it so when you read when you get knowledge when you understand when knowledge increase you may do what run with knowledge you may do what run with knowledge look what he said in verse 3 he said for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry yet wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so God said, look, write a vision, let it plain on tables, that he who read may run that read it. And the two charts, look, these two charts, is the tables. Not the tables with the Ten Commandments, because that was not given in vision. That was given in, on Mount Sinai from God to Moses. But the tables of charts was given in what? Vision. So he said, write the vision. Let it plain. What, but when was knowledge increased? Look at this very careful. On the chart, you'd have said, in, in 1798, when General Berthier captured the Pope and put him in prison, he was, put, he was captured and placed in exile, and he there until he died. Look. At that particular time, there was a specific prophecy which led us down to 1844. 1844, when, when in the book of Revelation chapter 6, look at this now, beloved. Don't miss this one. 1844 in the book of Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6, where it state very clearly. He said, And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, to every nation, kindred, and tongues, and people, saying with the Lord voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. Judgment begin in 1844. The judgment for the righteous dead, which dead in Christ, and then after which the judgment for the what? righteous living so watch this most people feel like that when god come he will line up you on one side and some on one side and judge no the investigative judgment is going on when jesus come you will get the execution judgment beloved so in 1844 there was was a specific prophecy supposed to take place look at this very carefully angel would classify as messenger in the prophetic period not a literal angel in in the book of uh galatian galatian chapter one look 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 in the instant of angel angel taking it from verse eight taking it from verse six he said i marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you into into the grace of christ unto another gospel which is not another but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of christ but though we are an angel from heaven preach on any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be a curse you see that that was what paul was pointing out 
concerning in Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 where he said, And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth to every nation, kingdom, and tongues, and people, saying with the Lord voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. So look at this. The judgment, the judgment occurred in 1844. The investigative judgment, which God started the, the, the judging for, the righteous dead first and then the righteous living. So the angel that fly in Revelation 14 verse 6, it was not a literal angel. Because Paul here classified in Galatians chapter 1 verse 8, he said, But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So he said, look, if they come with another gospel, which is not this gospel, let him be accursed. So the whole instant is that God is saying, because thou hast reject knowledge, I have reject thee. And because thou hast reject forsaken my law, I have forsaken thy children. God love us, beloved. He wants for us to have knowledge and acquainted with knowledge. Hear me, God. If we are not reading the word of God, we have no knowledge. And if we are not living knowledge, when we get knowledge, we will be rejected of God. God love us and he want to save us. He's calling us to himself. Search the scripture, he said, for in them he think he have eternal life. He says, study to show thyself approved. 